Need some coins for the God Squad you've always wanted? Check out rockbottomcoins.com for the safest and cheapest coins anywhere. Make sure you check out the solo grinding service as well. Use code Zerk at checkout for a 10% discount on your order. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It is Xerxy coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we have the new primetime performers Big Ben Roethlisberger as well as Don Terry Poe. I'm pretty excited about this. So I gotta say, I really wish that Don Terry Poe had a power up card because he already has a heavyweight I believe and he also has this new card and this new card is actually really good. If he had a power up card I actually might think about picking him up but sadly he does not. Now in the store right now of course we do have clutch packs with the clutch back bundle in my opinion it's probably the worst bundle just because of the fact that it's just rising stars you don't have a chance to get anything amazing it's literally just gonna be 11 packs full of cohen or Derek barnett now if you want to go ahead and get one of these guys uh get one of the rising star pieces i guess the set does help you because you can literally just sit there and choose to read cohen 11 times and you'll be able to complete the set so that does help you there but at the same time no <laughs> that's terrible literally the topper is i think they're both those players are probably like fifteen thousand coins each so you get 11 of them topper total is like 165k worth so which instead of getting that trash of a topper legend player topper would give you you know a legends player uh an 86 plus legends player which definitely has the opportunity to be better than an 86 overall so or uh better be better than say 165k worth of coins so definitely not my favorite topper and not my favorite packs either clutch packs for me have not been very good but i better pull something good today man take a look at the clutch packs you guys see the probability we have a 100 chance pulling 81 plus so you're at least getting 81 out of these uh 32 chance pulling 84 plus 14 chance pulling 86 plus and 4.9 chance pulling 88 plus now we're gonna open up probably about five of these packs uh if you guys didn't see my flashback pack opening from yesterday, or not flashback, heavyweight, make sure you guys go ahead and check that video out. I'm also probably going to be doing five flashbacks, probably Sunday. I feel like Sunday would be a good day to do five flashbacks for you guys. So, uh, maybe if you guys want to see that, or if you guys want to see me do veteran packs as well, make sure you let me know down below. But we're going to go ahead and open some clutch packs, and I will show you guys the new primetime performers in the game. Uh, of course, Weekend League does start today later tonight so i probably be live streaming some weekend league so make sure you guys follow my twitch link is in the description and the elite we're gonna get is 85 marks peters now that's not 40,000 coins i know that for a fact but that's not bad because if you want to go ahead and pick up uh, marcus peters prime time performer that will help you a lot we also get our twitch daily pack which to be honest i really don't care about that uh prime time performer marcus peters so i'm probably not gonna be picking him up as we get two golds Better than something I used to get. Uh, usually you get like all silvers. But we're going to open up four more of these packs. Give me the best possible chance at pulling ourselves, you know, Big Ben or Poe. I'll take either or because, of course, it's going for at least 500,000 coins. We get 81 Michael Pierce, so that is terrible. And all silvers. That's a garbage pack. I really don't like these packs. Now, the two packs in the game, I really don't like that much clutch packs. And also game changers. For me, they're just not good. And they just have never been very good as we get cheetah okay that's like 8k can we get another elite we do not we get two more golds though so far 120k in and nothing too good nothing too hot on to the next clutch pack let me get like a legend let me get like a full legend or something if we're not gonna get the prime top performer let me get a full legend what is that okay so we get a team week elite 81 isaiah crowell You know what we're doing it we have to bring out the clock goggles we have to bring out the goggles man it is the ultimate pack method with the clout goggles 100 guaranteed we get at least an 84 overall there's no doubt in my mind we're getting 84 overall elite or better in this pack what is that 86 michael dixon all i gotta say 86 Michael Dixon. Does he have good stats for a punter? 89 kick power with 79x. That's pretty solid. Uh, I'll check the price on him because I don't know how much he goes for. And that flash scared the crap of me because I didn't know what it was. We're actually going to open up at least one more because that pack was pretty decent. We will check the price on Michael Dixon. Hopefully, he goes for more than 40,000 coins. 
Once again, guaranteed at least 84 plus with these pack with these uh, goggles on. Take them back. 81 children rankings. But we also do get a power march on Lattimore, so I will let that one slide. But sadly, we did not end up pulling the new primetime performers. But maybe we'll just go ahead and pick them up for the squad sometime soon. So let's go ahead and see. Um, so we spent 240,000 coins. I There's no way we made that back. But we can definitely see how much we just made back. And Sheldon Rankins goes for 13k. Uh, probably about 15k to be honest. So I can tell him for 15k. Isaiah Crowell. 11k. So we're looking at about 25,000 coins after tax. Cheeto. Is another 15,000 coins. Looking about 40k. So three of those packs paid for one of those packs. Uh, Michael Pierce goes for 10k. So we're looking at 50,000 coins back total. Marcus Peters is 27k so probably 25k after tax so 75k and michael dixon eh, about 45k so yeah about 120k we made back off opening six of those packs which would be 240k so we made half of our coins back and of course we have some gold and silver so it was an L, but not a mega, mega L. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new primetime performers up on the auction block. I actually do uh, want to pick these cards up, possibly. Looks like uh, Big Ben is not up yet, but we do have Poe up. How did this guy get him? Pack open on the left. Okay, so maybe it's not an EA card getting put up. But Dontari Poe versus Damon Harrison. You guys see the stats. So, again, the problem is that Poe doesn't have a power up card. So that really does suck. But he has 71 speed with 82 or 81 acceleration. 92 strength which is actually really, really good uh 93 tackling 85 play rec 91 block shed 92 power move i wish he had a little bit higher block shed maybe like 93 uh because i usually put pass rush on my defensive tackles because it gives them more power move uh which don tire would have 95 power move in my scheme with a 91 block shed 71 speed 81 excel 92 strength. that's a very very good uh, defensive tackle to have roaming around the middle and then also let's take a look at his catching stats 39 so he might be able to pick off a screen pass or two uh he's definitely not faster than harrison to get out there and even defend the screen pass in general so let's see what his zone is uh 27 so not a very good coverage guy but he does have 92 stamina compared to 77 for harrison which is really big and a 93 hit power dang so this man can really uh, wreaks some havoc. Usually, Damon Harrison doesn't cause any fumbles, and I think I know why, because that 80 hit power. But 93 on Dontari Poe is ridiculous. Now, let's refresh and see if Big Ben is going to be up real quick. And if he's not, then I'll probably hop over to my head and show you guys his stats over there. And it doesn't look like he's going to be up, so we'll take a trip over to my head. Alright, so here we have Big Ben Roethlisberger. Take a look at his stats. According to my head, his rating has a 99 deep ball, 96 pocket passer, 97 West Coast, only a 61 scramble, so you definitely can't scramble with him, and 87 mobile passer. Now take a look at the rest of his stats. He has 69 speed, 70 acceleration, which is honestly not like terrible, terrible for uh, a pocket passing QB to be able to move around just ever so slightly. Uh, he also does have 93 throw power with 92 short, 88 medium, and 86 deep. I don't understand how he's <laughs> such a good deep passer with only having 86 deep. Also, it's 93 throw on the run, which is very, very good. Uh, 86 play action, 85 throw under pressure, and a 91 break sack. That's big. I'm sure that he will break quite a few sacks for you. He also has a 64 break tackle, 63 trucks, 69 looseness, and yeah, not so good when he's actually carrying the ball. When he's sitting in the pocket, though, with 91 break sack, that is pretty solid. Let's take a look at his traits as well. Uh, trait wise, his QB style is pocket throws tight spiral. No senses pressure. No, or average throws ball away. No forces passes aggressive, and he is clutch. So the clutch is pretty good because of course clutch kind of boosts your stats in the fourth quarter. I believe if you're down or something like that, so it does help you out a bit. Uh, again, we're back with the yodeling freaking pickle as my advertisement. Last time this popped up, a couple different people commented on this. And the Yodeling Pickles bet. So, Big Ben, primetime performer. I think he's pretty solid. I believe that the entire Poe is probably a little bit better uh, between the two of these guys. But Poe is super, super good. And Big Ben is really not that bad. It's just that I really like Donovan McNabb. And, of course, we just got, you know, Aaron Rodgers. I feel like they're both those guys are probably better. 
than this Big Ben. I feel like a lot of people nowadays, they kind of want a more scrambling QB or at least a more higher speed QB. I believe Aaron Rodgers has like 76 speed, uh, which is seven speed higher than Big Ben, which is actually pretty big uh, in terms of Madden. And then, of course, you have Donovan McNabb, Michael Vick. You really have some scrambling QBs that can still throw the ball pretty well. So I feel like Big Ben probably won't be the most wanted card unless you're like a Steelers fan. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. And if you did, smack the like button, subscribe and comment. Once again, make sure you guys follow my Twitch. Link is in the description. And of course, I also will be having some other videos coming out for you guys later today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.